All right, guys, so we're here at Sadler's Creek State Park. It's actually the noise. The neighbor is blowing out his sight. So uh, it's a nice campground. Our site's here. There's the water. So super easy access, bathhouse right here. Very clean bathhouse. Uh, good showers, hot it's water. The nicest so far. Yeah, definitely the nicest so far. Um, if you are tent camping though, uh, the gravel no, it is it is big and thick, heavy gravel. So um, make sure you have some pads or whatever to sleep on, or air mattresses because the gravel is big and thick. It's not smooth and it's really jagged. So um, yeah, lots of deer in the campsite last night. Um, pretty quiet the loop we're on is very quiet there is a loop further down that's more popular and the party area so last night they were making a lot of noise but we were a little bit far away we couldn't really hear them at all yeah so there hasn't been any noise here really i mean the noise we hear from across the way is muffled so it's not really like a problem but yeah, we're uh, here for another couple nights and then we are headed to family for Thanksgiving. So the majority of the sites are uh, shaded for sure, hardwood trees. Um, the majority of them are flat or relatively flat. You can put tents out, RVs out. You could easily get uh, 40 footers in here. There's a big fifth wheel over here that's 45 foot. They don't have a problem. But yeah, lots of deer in the woods right through here. They just come and lay here at night and sleep. The rangers do come around about every hour. They have firewood with them if you want to buy firewood. Um, but yeah. Quiet hours are 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Super quiet here, really nice. Um, besides the occasional diesel truck starting up, it's a very quiet campground. We definitely like it here. Definitely will be back to this one. This one's only two hours from family. All the sites have 30. Um, there are a couple sites, or there are also sites that have 50. And then there are also sites that have nothing, no water, no electric, but there's community water and electric. So this is our easy up. We have four sides on it. One of them is a door. We put the door towards the vehicle. Our tent actually has a door on each side. So this is technically the front door we don't use. We use the other side, but this is our water on site water. And then we have 30 amp, 30 amp, and then the other one is a 20 amp. So, and the electric here is good. Have our uh, Progressive Industries surge protector for our 30 amp. Absolutely love it. Um, plug it in, flip the breaker, make sure we have good power. We haven't had that issue yet. I'm sure we will. Also, I have a tester for the 20 amp. We tested that before we plugged our extension into that. So our 30 amp goes to a dog bone. That's a 30 amp male to a 20 or a 15 amp female. And then we run our big thick 10 gauge wire into the tent. We run it into the tent because of my computers that I have to run. And also we run a heater at night. We picked up a heater from Home Depot. It's like 60 bucks and I think roast us out of the tent. Um, only because the nights are about 30s to 40s. But that's why you run the heavy cable there. The green cable runs over here. Hey, Dad. And into our white Easy Up. It runs our 85 quart fridge. Uh, we also have our own table. We we do have benches for this. We do have the benches for this, but right now we're not using them. Um, mostly because we'll use the picnic table on site. Once we get our battery bank and solar set up, 
uh, we will have the table and benches with us because we're probably not going to ever have to need power again. Um, the way we have it set up, the battery bank is going to hold three days for us. That's with no input from solar at all. Um, but it's also going to have a couple panels. Um, and even on a cloudy day, it'll pull something in. So we're always going to have at least three days use on our batteries. In this site, we parked Black Betty right here, blocks the wind when there is wind. Um, and our borrowed trailer is here. We have our 15 pound propane bottle here. I have an extension cord. Run that right here to our white table so we can grill. You guys know we love grilling. We grill at least every other day, at least. And then uh, this is the side of the, this is the door we actually use on the tent. Um, our tent has a place for the cable to go through and then get secured that way there's no opening and then fire pit right here very easy to get in the campground there's no low hanging trees there's no sharp turns uh, very well marked but yeah no hardly any traffic so the boys just run over to the bathhouse when they need to uh, get out and play uh, no issues there no concerns um, you are able to have golf carts or side-by-sides here um, and drive them around. You just have to be a licensed adult to do that. But we like the campground. Uh, we would choose a different site and that's only because they merged one big site into two sites right here. So we didn't know that. This is new. So they threw a quick little pole in here. But... Uh, different site but we would definitely come back to this campground so if you're in the anderson south carolina area and you're looking to be on saddler state park out on the water this is a great place um, we do have neighbors they have they have one of the sites right down here and they just pull their they just beach their pontoon boat right there and then there's another one they've anchored their fishing boat out a little further and they canoe out to it or they kayak out to it and then they head out into the water. So you can be right here and get on the water within a couple minutes in the morning, catch some fish, have a good fish breakfast, if that's what you like to do. But uh, yeah, great campground. There's a ranger truck now, doing their, doing their hourly sweep. But uh, all the other campers here are super friendly, super nice, super uh, talkative. So, uh, but yeah. That's it for us guys, we're on to the next adventure.